Our second video today introduces a few more katakana characters. Remember to watch the end so you will know where to write the characters we're learning on the tables. Our next character is going to be Ho. So much for easy, Ho is four strokes and is one of the most difficult of the katakana characters. The first stroke is the horizontal stroke. It stops. The second stroke, of course, is vertical, and many people will have a hook to the left at the bottom. Strokes three and four are part of the two little strokes here at the bottom. They go down away from each other. Let's try these strokes together now. Stroke one goes across. Stroke two is vertical with a hook. Stroke three and four slant away from each other. Ho! For this character, try thinking of a holy cross. Don't let the fonts fool you. Mu is actually only two strokes. This first stroke starts at the top and then goes off to the right and stops. The second stroke is a short stroke that slants down to the right and stops. Let's try these two strokes together now. Stroke one goes down to the left, across to the right, and stroke two slants down to the right. Mu. You can remember this by thinking about going to the doctor with a leg injury. She always asks, does it hurt to move your leg? Of course it does! That's why you're there! Our next character is Ru. Ru is also two strokes. Are you getting the idea that katakana is simpler than hiragana? The first stroke is almost vertical, it tails to the left. The second stroke is the re stroke. So let's try these two strokes really quick. Stroke one tails down slightly to the left. Stroke two goes straight down up to the right to a tail. Ru. And to remember this one, sorry, I had my two-year-old color it. The ru may be hard to see, but it's created by the legs and tail of the kangaroo. And that's all the characters for today. However, ho is from the hagyo. Its pronunciation can be altered by the dakuten and the han dakuten. Just like its hiragana counterpart, adding the dakuten to ho gives you Bo. And adding the Han Dakuten gives you Po. What are the pronunciation patterns for the Hagyo with these diacritical markings? Here is the full katakana table. Here are the characters we've learned so far. With the addition of the characters we learned today, we're up to 26. That's a little bit over half. Now let's look at our table with the diacritical markings attached. With gi, that gives us one more syllable on this table. That brings us to 15. Because gi is from the e row, we also need to look at the palatal syllables table. Because ki and gi are from the e row, they can be combined with yo to create palatal syllables. That brings us up to 5. Again, not many right now, but it doesn't take much to get this table to fill up quickly. Also remember to fill in spaces in the horizontal table. The more you practice, the easier it will be to get yo properly proportioned. We'll see you in class!